Hey everyone, welcome back to another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I painted up one of the new awesome models for the Necron army, the Overlord. As with my other Necron models, I began by priming this model black. I purposely did not glue the hand with the staff onto the model, just to make it easier to paint it. I base coated the entire model, a one-to-one -one mix of bolt gun metal and chaos black, which will act as our foundation color for the entire Necron model. I then washed all the metallic areas with a black-brown wash consisting of a one-to-one -one mix of Badab Black and Devlin Mud. I gave all the metallic areas a first highlight with chainmail paint. I made sure just to focus on the edges and all the areas that would be available to the light so that it provides some shading in the darkness. I then gave all the metallic areas one more highlight of Mithril Silver. Once again, this was just a very light highlight and only focused on the edges. For his armor, I painted it a 1-2 mix of chainmail and hawk turquoise paint. And I gave these areas a watered down azurman blue wash, which you will see in later pictures as well. I then painted crisscross patterns on the armor using the original 1-2 mix of chainmail to hawk turquoise. I began as cape with a 2-1 mix of chainmail to red gore. This will act as a really dark red foundation which will bring it down to maroon later with washes. Therefore the next step was to give these areas a really heavy wash uh, using the same black-brown wash consisting of a 50-50 uh, Bada Black and Devlin Mud. This will bring out a lot of the detail in the metallic cape and bring it down to a dark maroony look which looks really nice. I started on all the, the orbs, the eyes, and the wiring on the gun using Goblin Green. I then painted up a gradient in all these areas using interesting patterns First with a 50-50 mix of Goblin Green and Scorpion Green, and then Scorpion Green, and all the way to Sunburst Yellow. As these orbs are green and not yellow, obviously, the next thing I did was give them all a watered down Thraka Green Wash, which will tie all the greens together and bring down the yellow to make them actually a very light green. And finally, I painted all the gold areas dwarf bronze, which will act as the foundation color for all these gold areas. As the color GW metallic paints go on very thin, the goal is to go a little bit layer by layer and build up to a very light gold color. To provide some shading and a little bit of detail, I once again washed all these areas with a black-brown wash, the same mix that I used earlier. And then I did two consecutive highlights, first with Shining Gold, and then with Burnished Gold. Uh, with each highlight, I tried to focus more on the edges just to bring out the natural shine in all the gold areas. Lastly, I painted the symbol on his chest, Chaos Black. For the blade of his staff, I started out with a, the color Orc Hide Shade uh, to create a dark green in the background. And then I painted the pattern first with Goblin Green and then with Scorpion Green. I then painted all the recesses on the staff, uh, the same green process as I did on the orbs and the eyes. And then I painted all the metal areas on the staff um, with chainmail paint. I painted the handle Chaos Black. Then I did edge highlighting over the handle using Codex Gray, which will make the details pop a little bit on the handle. And finally, I realized I forgot to paint the wiring on the staff, so I did that in the exact same glowing green pattern as I did on the other green parts. And here is just a picture of the finished uh, staff altogether. And that's it. 
here is just a picture of the finished product all together. Overall, I'd say that I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think it looks pretty nice and it looked pretty nice on the tabletop. Plus, it wasn't uh, very hard to paint and didn't take me actually very long to paint up. And here's a picture as you can see the face and its glowing eyes. Plus, the model looks really cool. I think that you will see a lot of these on the tabletop as their low points cost will make them an asset to pretty much any Necron army. So I hope this tutorial is of some assistance to you all. So as always, thank you very much to all you people out there for watching and subscribing to my videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe to my videos and leave comments below. Also, you can follow my blog at paintingwithj.blogspot.com for more weekly updates, tutorials, and reviews, as well as a list of all my upcoming painting tutorials. So until next time, this is Mini Wargamer J saying, Happy painting, everyone. Jaws, uh, arms, and the legs, the same way I did the mouth, um, with an ice blue base coat and then an azure and blue wash.